Hands up, who's gonna have children when they get older? Right. Hands up, who's gonna be a great dad when they're older? Hands up. Hands up, who's gonna be involved in every aspect of their child's life when they're when they're older? Hands up. I'm dead. Hands up. I don't get tricked about. Right. Now, ask a question. What aspect of Eddie's life? Couldn't his father get involved in? Why? Because he messed up. Listen to the story now. So, if you guys mess up now, you're not just messing up you. You potentially mess up a relationship with your children in years to come. Because you are not going to be able to engage with them in a major part of their life. But it will hurt though, like, see your wife go work and you're just jamming at home, like, she's did, bringing home the bacon. But what did he do? What, 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 what did Eddie's daddy start to do? Jump up. He started oh, to drink. Up. He started to drink <laughs> and, and come home <laughs> drunk singing My Old Man. See, there's some more, listen, you got to understand, guys, when you listen to that story, there's some strong messages. Because his dad messed up when he was younger, he, he couldn't him. take part in a major part. So when you guys mess up in your education, Right? When you get older and your son comes on with their algebra or their maths or their reading and writing, you can't help them at all. And I'll tell you this, as a man, just like Eddie's dad, there's nothing that's going to break you down. Yeah. Remember we, we had that session about what makes a man a man? Mm. When your child comes home and says, Dad, oh, what is this? And you can't read it? Or you can't write? Or you can't add this? I'm telling you something, it makes you feel this small. And that's why, and not in that, for his education. He couldn't get a job, so he felt that he couldn't provide for his family. And on that same line, guys, we talk about expectations. Can you imagine? You know your son's got homework, and your son walks in, he sees you, and walks past you. Because hey. there's no expectation, none. He knows you know nothing. You know nothing. You might as well go and talk to the dog next door. Yeah? <laughs> Parent and bike guy. It's not funny, because by that time it's gone. You can't go chase my Yeah, yeah, what was your homework? Exactly. Oh, that's it, oh, the grandma. That's Steve, he's like, don't you have homework? Yeah, I'm waiting for mum's homework. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's true, but do you see? Because by that time, the damage is done. Guys, and you remember, Ed, 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 Eddie said something in his story. He said, well, girls don't like him, so you don't like them. And he decided, no, but he decided that he, he, understood, he listened to the speaker at the graduation, because the speaker said, education gives you choices, yeah? And he understood that his schooling was only five years. And at the end of the story, you saw how he come out victorious. He come out with the girls, he's, got, he's an author, and obviously with that he's making a good little change with it all. This is the period, guys. This is, you see now, this period, be like Eddie. Eddie slipped up once for a small period because of a girl. Alright, we're all good. All girls like Cleopatra or Delilah or any one of them, they're all out there, they can make her slip up. But what you've got to understand, guys, don't allow... Anything to slip you up because I can't. The payback comes afterwards. Mm -hmm. I can tell you this guaranteed you more than anything. It's like money in the bank. Every day you come to school, it's like you're putting money in the bank. Yes? And I'll tell you this there is nothing girls like more than, than a no, than an educated man. Lays. Like, educated. <laughs> I'm telling you, because, but the point matter, but you're different because educated men sometimes don't have common sense. But yeah. with your education, with the life skills that me and Steve are giving you now, you're going to have that common sense. So you're going to have the whole package. But that education is that foundation. And that's what the story was about. And fortunately, through that interaction with his dad, because that was a quite an emotional time with him and his dad. Yeah, where his dad decided, and he said to his dad, imagine you're, imagine you're a grown man and your son looks at you and says, you're stupid, stupid, oh, stupid. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey? No, but if he's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. 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 But his dad stood up and then he realised, God, do you know what? That's it. Because what? What is necessary? What is necessary? Right? But what happened between that relationship with with their dad? That inspired Eddie to go back to his normal self. Because he said, "Listen, he doesn't want to be a fool who's he doesn't want to be a fool who's cool. He wants to be a nerd who's going to be heard." So, what do you want to be? Do you guys want to be a fool who's cool or a nerd? Was heard. I know cool. Can I can I tell you something, right? I have been I was called a nerd. I've been called a nerd twice in the last two months. 
<laughs> at your age, yeah. who's that? Who's that funny enough, it's because of what I'm doing. I'm doing so many things, and I, 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 a girl and a guy said to me, "You know what, Ken? You're a nerd." I thought, "How old are you?" No, they were my age. Uh, what's no, but they're no. Like listen to me. But what they said, a nerd is someone who's, who's very studious. Who, who's got a kind of intellect. And I thought, am I really? Because no one's ever really called me a nerd before. And I thought, no. But they said, Ken, you're a nerd. And I thought, you know what? If that's what no good, I love being a nerd. And I mean, so you cannot worry about being a nerd or being a teacher because at the end of the day, you're here to learn. You're not here to get street cred. Street cred is not going to pay your bills when you get older.